Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a basic code plug for motor turbo radios. I'll be detailing some specific parameters that I personally set when programming, along with adding and removing digital and analog channels, digital contacts, RX group list, etc. First, let's open the CPS. Now we have the CPS open, we need a code plug to work from. We can either read from a radio or use a code plug that we have on file. Before we go any further, please ensure that your CPS is in expert view by selecting view and then expert. Otherwise, not all settings will be available to you. Now we have the code plug open. The first page we have is the device information page. This details all pertinent information such as model number, TNAPA number, and the serial number, along with firmware revisions, code plug versions, and the frequency range. Scrolling down, displays the device features section. All items with status as free are currently installed on the radio whilst items with a status of available for purchase require the purchase of an entitlement ID. Moving on from here the next section is the general settings. Here we can change data relating to the radio name and ID, preambles, hang times, all the way through to alert tones and lone worker settings. In this instance, I will only be showing you the basic programming settings to commission a basic back-to-back -back system. The first setting we are going to change is found under audio profile. We are going to change the environment from default to loud and also check the AF suppression box. Then, underneath the microphone heading, we will change mic selection rule from default to mic follow PTT. Now, we will jump to the button section on the left tree menu, and we will unassign all the buttons including the accessory buttons once we have done this we are moving on to the security tab on the left tree menu and we will be deleting the restricted access to system key now I will show you how to add digital contacts to do so we need to move down to contacts digital and with digital highlighted right click the mouse hover over add and select group call a general rule of thumb is for every digital channel that you have have a digital contact I will be having three digital channels so therefore I will add three digital contacts on the right hand side we are able to edit the contact name and the call ID. The same as we've just added digital contacts, we need to add digital RX group lists. We do this by highlighting digital, right click, hover over add select RX group list. Again, general rule of thumb, free digital channels, free RX group lists. Here is list one. In list one we have a member of call one. In list two we will be adding call two to the members list and the same with call list free, call free. 
Now we move on to the channel section. To add more channels, highlight zone one, right click, add, and select which channel variant you would like to add. For this video, I'll be adding a further two digital channels and three analog channels. With the channels added, I will now show you how to set up the channels. Select channel 1 and then changing the color code from a number between 0 and 15. Inserting the receive frequency and the transmit frequency. Then with group list we have the option between group list 1, 2 and 3. This is channel 1 so list 1 is logical. Also the same with contact name. Channel 1, call 1. As this is basic programming I like to keep it simple and select admit criteria as always. Now we go through and do the same for channel 2. Changing the color code the receive and transmit frequencies the group list now on channel 2 will be list 2 contact name the same call 2 and admit criteria to always the same also for channel 3 change the color code the RX and the TX frequency the group list and the contact name, not forgetting the admit criteria. Now we move on to doing the analog channels. Select channel 4. Here we can choose the channel bandwidth. Generically 12.5 kHz is fine. Scrolling down we have the same. RX frequency TX frequency. We also can choose between the squelch type, either carrier squelch, DPL or TPL. For this instance I will use TPL. Also underneath the TX side we have the admit criteria which I again like to set to always. Moving through the channels we do the same for channel 5 and 6 And that is basic radio parameters for Moto Turbo. Once you're happy with your programming, you can either write or clone to your radio, but also remember to save your code plug. Thank you very much for watching. Should you require further assistance, please do not hesitate to contact the Airsys technical team on the email shown.